and now we're getting better. This is an advanced product, so we're not going to draw the lines that we have here. So that's on the bottom. And the last curve, this gets the OA stamp there. And then this one over here, this is the important one for Velasquez. This gets the O on the bottom. So we've got to make sure and draw the other one on top for the blue curve. This one up here, it doesn't matter. We can draw that wherever we want. We'll draw it on top for simplicity's sake. So now we go through, do all the carbons have O's on them? That one's got one, that one's got one, that one, this gets that, that gets that. This is the hardest part of organic chemistry. We have kindergarten lessons on this. Again, what we're doing with this show, too, is all recyclable stuff except for these two carbons. But we're going to draw this with crayons in a moment. The red, now we just do the dots. There's carbons, dot, that's an OH, that's an OH, dot, dot, that's an OH. This one isn't as tight as that other one. Remember, you get sort of hooked in the green here. And this gets hooked up. It's going to have all four bonds. It's not going to have any hydrogen. In this case, this one next to the O, fructose is the one that actually hits it and makes it work. And see, now we can go through the look and say they all got hydrogens on them, too. Huh? So those are hydrocarbons. You could actually call that a hydrocarbon now. And every carbon's got a hydrogen on it. Every single one of those has one, huh? And they all got the OH, but they're not part of the ring because H2O, remember? H2O and CO2. That's the sugaring. So isn't that cool, though? Just dots, triangles, fill in the blanks. This is college stuff, kids, nursing, biology, nutrition. Now that we know what the lactose looks like, we're going to go back to kindergarten. We're going to draw lactose, the glucose thionylcalactone. We're going to draw them three crayons is all we need. We're going to try something new here. We're going to draw this sideways, and we're going to have to make it such that this carbon here gets the bond. This carbon there gets the bond. So we're going to have to make our O's in the middle here. Let's start by doing that. What I want to show you kids is I'm learning this. This is the first time I'm doing it. I made a few little notes. So I wouldn't be totally a dork here. Recycled, we found these in the dumpster, the crayons. So we're showing how you can learn chemistry using recycled paper, recycled pens and paper. So we're going to try this here. We're going to try this there. Let's see if we can get it so that we have sugar plates like we did with our amino acids. Remember the amino acid backbone? It was always a nitrogen to an O. We can line them up. So we're going to try and do that with the sugar plate. So the first one we're going to draw here is going to be glucose. And we're going to bond that to a galactose to make a lactose. And believe me, until you do this 100 times, you learn to just kind of glucose. It's this thick part here. the meaning. Believe me, think about this, kids. So these actually here, we're going to draw, let's say, a line. And this is the important part. When we're drawing glucose, this ring here has that on the bottom. So we've got to make sure our diamond is that on the bottom. And that just helps our carbon to carbon. Carbon to carbon. So this is going to go up to the carbon now. And this one on glucose, again, is going to be on the bottom.
<laughs> we'll come around to that side in a minute here. So we got that one there. We got this going to the side. Oh, sorry, goes to the O up here. We got another thing. We got one in the bottom. We've got our OHs. So we got this one to put there. So we went off to the side with that one. Let's do that over here too. We can bring this O. is going to work. That's on the bottom. We'll just bring it over and put it on the bottom of the frame. That's all that matters. Frame and bottom. It's going to go that way. We'll go side to side on there. Okay, we did. I thought we had this coming out on the other one. We're making it up as we go along here. Okay, our OHs. So this is what we got to learn on this is where the OH is our bottom, glucose, top. These are the ones we think about. This up here doesn't really matter. But these have to be on the bottom is the key for when the next one bonds to it. So let's see how well we do this here. Working with our dots to finish this up. We've got hydrocarbon there. Hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon, that's not an OH, so this gets the in the middle, that gets the middle, that gets, so oh, that's going to be bonding over there, so this one will be coming and going. That one up there, fill in the carbons, we got dot, 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 dot. We've got... One carbon, two carbons, three carbons, four carbons, five carbons, six carbons. So see, glucose, this is the molecule, photosynthesis. This is the biggie, this is step one. CO2 and water, O's are from the water, or are O's from the CO2? Mm -hmm. It's a good trivia question. I'm not even going to tell you. You're going to have to pay attention before you learn that one. So ask a biology teacher, and then you can tell if they really know what they're talking about. Say, hey, when you make a sugar, you got the carbons and the oxygens. Those oxygens from the water or from the CO2? What do we get to do now, kids? Color it in. So this gets all green. This gets all green. This gets blacked in, gets blacked in, blacked in. So I think this would make a good little coloring book, huh? Just have the outlines and the kids get to color them. Whenever you see a diamond, color it black. It's really a shame with the red in the cards, but carbon is oil. So oil is going to get a bad rap with this generation with the golf and all that going on. So this is glucose. Now what we want to do is we want to line it up so the next sugar, like we did our amino acids, lines up here. So let's grab an old piece of scrap paper here because we don't know how good this is going to work. So we need an oxygen right here. We'll line it up. We're going to need another oxygen over there. So this might work. When we line it up, we can see the way the bond formed. So for the galactose now, see, this is going to have this on top of the diamond. So when this goes, that's going to be on top. So if that's got to be on top, our carbon-carbon bonds have to go side there. Diamond. Make this real hokey cartoon stuff because see that's the wood on the bottom. This oxygen over here, this is on the bottom. So just put it on the bottom of the diamond. Don't worry about it. That's on the bottom. This has to go to a side arm on there. So let's make this, this go to there. This is going to go up to an oxygen here. 